Mom wasn't prepared for what a stranger did a week after a five-year-old offered him a Kool-Aid drink for free. This story is about one concerned mother, her little boy, and a stranger next to a van. She wasn't expecting this to take place at all, and when it did, tears rolled down her cheeks. Innocence is at its best in kids, and for that reason, parents have all the rights in the world to be worried about their kids, at least when they are too young to understand the difference between wrong and right by themselves. They need guidance, support, and to be looked after most of the times. With kids, all it takes is just one moment of carelessness, and it might result in a lifetime of regret. Parents' fear for their kids is therefore perfectly valid. Adam Hosami was five years old when this incident took place. It all started with an idea to do something efficient during the summer vacations. This little boy has been thinking about different ways to earn a little more pocket money, and his mother finally gave the idea she thought to be the safest. Adam Hosami used to live with his family in Dearborn, Michigan. Just like any other mother would do, Krista, Adam's mother, instructed him not to talk to strangers and play where all the kids stay. She didn't want her son to feel shattered just because she won't allow him to work on his plan. It was a fun thing for Adam to do until his mother grew suspicious about a stranger who was trying to talk to her son. So what was it? Adam was insisting to set up a Kool-Aid stell in his front yard to earn more money. At first, his mother tried to convince him on giving up this idea, but the little one made a strong point when the five-year-old said that it wasn't just about earning, but to learn something. His mother was impressed by the little one's efforts and agreed, but only on one condition. Krista put her condition in front of Adam. It was that she'll stay there as long as he'll be putting up the stall. Krista's intentions were just to protect her boy. What she didn't know was that if something bad has to take place, then she will not be able to stop it anyway. Adam instantly agreed and they made a deal. So Adam told his mom that he'll be selling one cup of Kool-Aid for 50 cents. After seeing him excited, his mother, too, encouraged him to do everything by himself. The guy was planning on saving a good amount of pocket money, but it was not as easy as it looks now. Adam's father wasn't in favor of this all-lemonade stands idea. He was worried about his son's health, who would easily fall sick. According to him, it was better to spend the hot summer days inside the home, but Krista took the responsibility just for her kid's happiness. Kool-Aid wasn't just to earn a little extra money, but to have a little extra fun. After all, staying out of the house is the absolute definition of fun for most of the kids. On top of everything, his mother was quite certain that this will teach him a few lessons of money management, which is no doubt a necessary thing to learn for a happy life. Well, both Adam and his mother were going to learn more than just money management. It was a good idea to do something like this, but it is also too common. Kids usually put lemonade stalls like Adam's, and for passers-by, it's a satisfying treat to see these little kids offering chilled lemonade on a hot summer afternoon. Krista, his mother, thought it will be just like other kids' experience, a summer vacation spent serving Kool-Aid, but there was more to happen. Lemonade stalls are popular among kids of Adam's age. So far, Adam was doing a great job, but there were not many customers turning up to his stall. Even after a week, Adam was hardly able to collect a few bucks. Seeing her boy working so passionately, Krista came up with an idea that was intended to help Adam. In an attempt to help her son, Krista told her friends about Adam's stall, hoping that they'll visit the stall and help in encouraging her son's entrepreneurial venture. But very less actually showed up. Even though she could sense that Adam was a little disappointed about the whole thing, there was something that made her really proud. Adam was disappointed, but he told his mom that he enjoyed putting up the stall anyway. He was a cheerful kid who always looked at the brighter side of things. While that's one good habit for sure, it also concerned Krista a lot. Adam's innocence could be easily exploited in this world, and that's why Krista always tried to stay with him until he gets smart enough but one moment of absence will be enough to increase her fear for her son's welfare. It happened during the second week of his summer vacation that something other than regular was going to happen. Like always, he kept his stool and put up a shed and his chair and sat. On the main door was Krista looking after her son. 
It was past 12 in the noon. The hottest hours, Krista told her son that she'll be back in a moment and went inside, leaving Adam alone. Krista walked toward the dining room where she remembered seeing her sunglasses the last time. She wasn't aware that the moment she left, someone walked to the boy's stall. While looking for her sunglasses, she peeked outside the window to look at the stall. There was something about this person that made her grow suspicious. Wondering what it was? She never saw this man before, which meant he was not from the neighborhood. He was talking to Adam, and what took her breath away was the van. There was a van parked right in front of their home. All of a sudden, Krista's mind filled with all the negative thoughts, and she wasn't completely wrong in worrying about her son. We all have heard cases of kids going missing within the blink of an eye, and several times people vanishing away after abducting innocent kids in vans. It has happened before, and it can happen with anyone if not taken care of. The same thought crossed Krista's mind. Leaving everything behind, she rushed outside. Krista allowed Adam to set up this stall and this thing freaked her out. The van was right there and the thought of anything wrong happening to her son made her panic. Sadly, she would never know who this stranger was until a week after this incident. By the time Krista reached the stall, the stranger was gone. Krista looked at Adam, who was standing right there. Before even asking her son, she calmed herself down, took a deep breath. She told herself that whosoever this person was, he was gone and her son was safe. When she asked him what did he want, the answer was completely unexpected. She was sweating and drank a glass of Kool-Aid first, getting her breath back to normal. She asked her son coolly, did you sell some Kool-Aid? Adam's answer to it was no. This made Krista even more curious to know what had just happened. So she asked, well, what did the man want then? Her son's reply left her in disbelief. She was assuming that it was Adam's first sale of the day, but knowing that he didn't sell anything made her anxious. What else was this man there for? What were his intentions and what was it that he wanted from her son? Was this man planning on causing any harm to Adam? While Krista thought the man was gone, a week later she'll be remembering this incident all over again. Adam tried to wrap up the incident in one sentence and Krista couldn't get what he was trying to say. So Adam explained the whole thing. As per Adam, he was a nice man and was looking for a little favor from Adam. But what favor? Sometimes it becomes a really tough thing to get words out of a kid's mouth. And it was the same moment. When Adam finally explained the whole scenario to his mom, what she understood was that this man was a mailman who has been working for quite a while. From door to door, dropping the mails. He was tired and thirsty. Passing by this society, he noticed Adam's Kool-Aid stall and stopped. The mailman was willing to buy the Kool-Aid, but there was one problem. Seeing the lemonade stall on one hot day is one achievement, but there was one major trouble that was stopping the mailman from buying the lemonade. That day, before leaving home, the mailman forgot his wallet at home, so he didn't have anything on him to pay the little boy. Despite knowing the fact that the mailman didn't have any money on him, Adam went ahead and gave him a big glass of chilled Kool-Aid. Her boy was indeed kind and loving, and this made Krista feel proud of him. She smiled and patted him on the back. At this time, she thought it was all over, but a week later, something will force her to take action. A week later, Krista was collecting the mail from the mailbox when she saw a letter for her son. Why would anyone write a letter to Adam? She opened the letter and understood that there was something more wrapped in the note. She couldn't hold back tears and immediately decided that the world needed to know what the mailman just did. Yes, reading a mail that was for her son wasn't the right thing to do, but in order to know the truth, she has all the rights to read the letter. All she wanted to check was that whatever was written in the paper is safe for her five-year-old son. But as she started reading the letter, she couldn't stop in between. She was taken over by so many emotions. The letter started with Adam and continued, Remember last week when you were selling Kool-Aid on a hot day? I didn't have any money, but you offered me Kool-Aid anyways. Thanks, man. I was really thirsty. Good things happen to good people like you. Stay cool, dude. Mailman. Krista was overwhelmed by this man's effort to return the favor that Adam had done to him. You'll be thrilled to know what more this mailman did. Adam could have denied the man a Kool-Aid, but he didn't. Rather, he happily poured a glass full of the drink for him. The mailman wanted to do something special for his little friend. 
Adam for his generosity, so the mailman wrapped a gift for the boy inside the letter. Seeing the gift, Krista ran inside to tell her son about it. Inside this letter, there was a $20 bill. Krista knew how much this stall meant for her son, and the mailman's efforts to make the little boy feel special were highly appreciated. The moment she showed the letter to the little boy, he was taken over by joy. Her son's simple act of kindness brought him an amazing reward. The mailman gifted Adam a $20 bill that the little boy would have earned after selling 40 glasses of Kool-Aid. Adam wasn't able to collect his money in two days. And for a guy who wasn't ready to lose hope, the mailman's gift was enough to make his day. That's when his mother explained him one important thing. Krista told in an interview, It makes me feel really good to know that there are still people in this world that care. The same thing she said to her son. She suggested he understood the value of what the man has done for the boy. Later, when she shared this incident with friends on Facebook, the response showed how much positivity the world is really in need of. When Krista shared it on Facebook, the post went viral overnight. The story of the five-year-old and the mailman was published in the local newspaper and even telecasted on the news channel. These days, the majority of news is negative and Adam's story was shining amid the rest. The post read something like this. Adam was selling Kool-Aid in the front yard last week and he asked the mailman to buy some. He didn't have any money on him, but Adam said, it's okay, you can still have some, and poured him a cup. Today, the mailman put this in our mail. This seriously brought tears to my eyes. What a kind thing to do. When a video was shared by a news channel on YouTube, it was viewed more than 64,000 times. Krista's post was shared for more than 500 times, and comments kept on increasing with every hour. Krista, who was highly suspicious of the man, was now aware that he was just a kind person like Adam. I think that it will show him that no matter what, you should help people, Krista said in an interview, who thought sharing the incident was the best thing she could have done. After all, spreading good vibes around the world is one wonderful experience that Krista did. That small gesture was something really big, said Krista. How the small things can have huge impacts. Adam's act of kindness was later appreciated by his neighbors as well. Such a beautiful lesson a five-year-old and a mailman gave.